Sonia and Matt. I'm pulling up my sleeves because today is day 20. All right, I don't say 20 days on this island. This island of paint challenges for 30 days straight. I am giving three paint tutorials right here in my class. So right here in my page, I should say. We are going live right now on Facebook and YouTube. So thank you. Uh, hashtag Banana Bunch if you're out there. You're just going to hashtag Banana Bunch love and hearts back. I'm glad that you guys are here. I hope you are learning lots. A lot of you guys have reached out to me, and I am so happy that you guys have also found me here on Facebook and YouTube so I can help you basically give you a link to that brownie, brownie piece of furniture, or maybe you want to be able to start, you know, creating, painting things to sell to other people and to make some to ching a little bit on the side, right? This is what I love to do. I am so excited to be able to say that I was able to leave my corporate job to do what I truly love, which is to, to paint in my stretchy pants, all right? So I gotta tell you, you're either born with this, this is, this is a skill, this is a superpower, okay? What is your superpower? Mine is to be able to see vision in a brownie brownie piece of junk on the side of the road or in a thrift store, you know the whole thing of one person's junk is another person's treasure? Yeah, I can see it. Like, I just can see it. Like, driving down the road, I can spot it a million miles away. I can't help it. And my husband loves it, right? Matt's behind the scenes, by the way. Matt, say hello. That is here. I. I am he. <laughs> he hello. is here. So it's Sonia and Matt from Junk Monkey Paint Company. We are so happy that you are here. And today, as I said, is uh, day 20, and we're going to go ahead and give some life to this piece that I found by the side of the road. So get this. Sonia's driving down the road, and she's like, hmm, hmm, hmm. All right. So what is that pretty uh, bling bling right there on that pile of garbage and uh, paneling and just like boards stripped out with uh, nails, you know, all that stuff is a pile of trash that somebody has taken this out of their house and honestly just totally, totally cleaned out a room in their house and thrown it by the side of the road with the garbage waiting for garbage day. I love a good garbage day. I will tell you, I love a good garbage day, right? It's always fun to see what somebody else throws out and then they're going to want it back after you paint it. Now this is not going to be a piece that I'm going to go ahead and reattach to the ceiling. I ain't no electrician, okay? I currently have two chandeliers sitting in one of my bay windows right now. I love to be able to make use of old chandeliers, not because I want to repair them and hang them from the ceiling, like I said, but to make them pretty. Hello to the power of paint. We're going to put some junk monkey on this sucker and make it beautiful. And then one of my favorite things to do is to get some really nice uh, soft lights and to basically put it around it, right? And then you can lay this anywhere you want. So this is going to go in my other bay window here behind me. And I can plug in. There's a light socket inside my little bay window. So I can get some really nice tiny white lights. You know soft lights I'm talking about? Twist it around. Christmas lights, whatever you got. It's going to work awesome. Plug it in and it's beautiful, right? So this is what I'm going to use mine for today. Another way I love to use these is to put paint on them and then to dangle pearls over them, okay? So I know that these don't work anymore. In fact, this sat outside in the weather. True story, I took it to work with me today. It was sitting on my picnic table because I found it outside in the trash. I hauled it home with me. I got as far as taking it out of my car, putting it on my picnic table, and it's been sitting out there. So I just brushed away all the leaves and things that have collected with it, got all the snow off of it, let it dry out today inside here. And while somebody else was ready to give it away, I'm not ready to give up on it yet, okay? So can we do it together? Because if you have a chandelier hanging from your dining room, who saw when I went home this summer, I did a little makeover on mom's dining room. It made a big difference. Small makeover, big difference, right? Big transformation. And that, if you go on YouTube, you'll be able to see over there. And I did videos on Facebook as well. But if you want to search them, you can probably find them over on our YouTube easier. But if you look up to that video or you saw that video, I painted her hutch, her chairs, her dining room table. We did it in beautiful milk paint. And uh, I also went ahead and I changed her brass simple chandelier to black as well, right? She took all the little, uh, you know, the little embellishments off of it, shined them all up, hung them all back on, and let me just tell you, it was like she had a whole new piece, okay? I did not even take it from her ceiling. It was truly attached up to the ceiling. All I did was put some tape around it and a garbage bag to, for the ceiling, so nothing splattered on the white ceiling. So yes, you know, you can always paint these if you want, um, just make sure you get an electricity run to it, right? Make sure, because you got to yeah, yeah. a wet product with an electrical thing. Um, or take it down if you can't paint it, put it back up, right? But like I said, this is set outside. This ain't going to be working anymore, right? And I'm not willing to pay an electrician. But I'm going to love it for what it is. So if you have a chandelier in your house right now, you should think about putting some color on it. I think it's fun when you put color on it. Can you see the color that I picked today? And somebody's going to like, what? Yep, sunshine yellow. Yellow, yellow. Sunshine Miller, our chalky 
Rocky style paint sticks to pretty much anything under the sun. You'll be hard pressed to find something it will not adhere to. And even though that this is made of a metal, I don't care. It's even set outside for a while. I don't care. I'm just going to go ahead today, clean it up, and go ahead and put some color onto it. Have you ever been in a house where somebody has, like, somebody made a statement piece out of their chandelier, meaning that it is yellow, or it is red, or it is navy, and sometimes just going from brass to black, oh my gosh, is the bee's knees. It's gorgeous, right? So whether you have a working chandelier and you just want to paint it up, or whether you're like me and you find something for free by the side of the road and you're using it as a prop, as a decoration, that's cool, right? That is totally up to you. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here, and um, because I tell you guys I'm a little maintenance girl, could I go ahead and twist off all the wiring and take off all these little uh, bling blings? Yep, I could. Am I going to? No, we're going to paint around it, okay? So that part is totally up to you. When I did my mom's chandelier, because it was a functional one, like I said, she took all these off, I painted it, and then she rehung everything. It was gorgeous, right? This is my shop prop, all right? Where it might something I salvaged from the garbage, and now it's gonna be used in my front bay window for my store. So as I go ahead and move her hair, or AKA, a little bit of bling bling out of the way, I'll work my way through this. I'm gonna turn it over to Matt, okay? So he can go ahead and tell us who's on here with us today. Are they real crystals? They, I don't think they're real. What do you think, they're plastic, I think? What would you call them? Beautiful. Um. I'm so glad I got the more photos. I don't know, here's one that, that broke. I, I fished as many of them out of the uh, dirt pile as I could, but some of them, because they just must have took it and threw this into the pile, you know what I mean? Like, it, it, it was roughly played with. Why did I say oh, they're that? Glass. I they're glass. They're glass? Yeah. Don't just do what I just did. I painted the top first, but I'm gonna need to hold this on to be able to maneuver it around, right? So get ready, this is why we're paint clothes. All right, let's go ahead and let's sit there. And I got a painter's card, which helps me rub my fingers off. And now what I'm gonna do is take my shabby chip brush. You guys know I have two brushes. I like to keep it simple, but I like to use my full coverage brush, which is the blue handle brush. I think they're all out there soaking from um, the projects that we've done with them, which we painted fabric with them um, in the last few days. You guys wanna see? I get to take it home today. Matt, when you get a second, would you uh, put the video on our fabric piece that is all dry. I scotch guarded it last night, right before I left, as we get locked up and left here the junk monkey. It's hiding. And um, can, you just, can you just turn it down? Can you see it? Let's just take a look. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Perfect. So I'm so happy with how that came out. So tonight I get to take it home to my doggies, and they're gonna love it, right? So this is a project that I get to do for me. Um, yeah, I get to do for me. I'm excited about this. You do all your projects for me. Well, that's true. It, it does bring me personal joy. <laughs> Even when I'm working on other people's stuff. I don't know. Just, let's yeah. be let's be totally honest here. I am so lucky to be yes. able to do what I love. Unless the family do that, right? And 20... Twenty big banana bucks Facebook and there are twenty goes to YouTube. All you have to do is share and then type share down below. Have you ever done the old bedroom furniture, white bedroom furniture? What kind of paint would you you would use the regular kind? If yeah, I'm thinking what it is, super shiny. That is uh, the moon white. mist. Yeah, the moon mist. The one that uh, we I don't came. Think there's any furniture yes. We Yes, and we even know the we even know the names of the manufacturer finishes. Yes. I've been painting furniture now and decor for 13 years. I mean, I've done painting all my life, but I actually did it to actually sell to the local public for 13 years. So I will tell you, in 13 years of people's junk and finding junk and researching junk, I don't know if there's any. That's why I truly say I don't know if there's anything out there I really haven't seen at this point. It's been a long time. I dedicate my life's work now to. Uh, Showing people how to make things beautiful through the power paint. Okay? Once it gets so a little right. warmer out there, we'll take you along uh, for... Junkin'? Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. please. Can you do four mica countertops? You can. You just have to seal them really well. Yeah. The only yeah. thing with painting your uh, countertops... They I get a lot of use, yeah. I about this in the last day or so, so I did respond back. I don't know if I my message or not. But um, the, here's the thing with painting your countertops, right? Is that um, countertops get a ton of use, right? There's not only a piece of furniture in the corner. You are dealing with like hot stuff, you know what I'm talking about? Like it's like moisture, the hot water that runs when you're washing dishes and it gets under places and it causes things to rise and all that sort of stuff. The number two thing is you never want to obviously prepare food on painted surfaces, right? Okay. It's nice to have really wipeable, sealed, you know, surfaces. So personally, I always recommend that, you know, you don't paint your, your countertops um, just because they're very, very... Um, 
it's just hard maintenance and just for all those reasons. I did a vlog where I did a small countertop upstairs using a product and uh, if you're following me on YouTube you'll know what that is or go search for it. It was like my one hour countertop redo and I didn't paint it. I painted things around it but go check that out over on YouTube so you can uh, see what my favorite product is if I need a quick flip for a countertop. So two shout outs. Yes. Special shout outs. Yeah. One is to Barb Ward in Lassie, Newfoundland. Oh, no way! All the way from my home in Lassie. Barb, how are you? What's the weather like? Wait, don't tell me. Is it snowing? <laughs> you guys got a lot of uh, flooding up there, huh? I was just talking to Mom yesterday back on the island, and uh, she was telling me a little bit about the icy roads. I also saw some pictures. People, um, they, I know they don't recommend that you do this, but skating on the uh, roadways. I think that was over in Nova Scotia. I saw somebody who was up to that. Yeah, and the other shout one. out, the, the other shout out I want to shout out, international shout out, yes. goes to the boys from Australia at Shabby Chic and Company oh, in Australia. We appreciate you guys being on here. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you for the love and the support. Yes. I know we have people all over the world anxious to get their hands on Junk Monkey. And uh, they're going to be the first ones to get it, right? When we, uh, we launch live for retailers. There's so many good things, guys, that we have coming out this year for you that we're working behind the scenes on. Oh, you don't even know. I know that you're going to love it. The yellow I'm stuff excited. is Junk Monkey paint. The yellow, yes. The Sunshine color. yellow. And guys, uh, are like you going to rewire that? That's the big question. No, heck no. Heck no. Do you want to come do it for me? If you do, let me know. Well, okay, somebody had a good idea. That What's that? You don't have to rewire it if you yeah. use uh, solar lights on there. Yes. I twist little um little soft <laughs> lights around my chandeliers jan cook said my keto crate is at my house and i'm stuck at work oh girl you got snacks at home That's yes really yes really yes we should be getting a, another snack pack soon yeah. i gotta tell you that if you follow us on our other group called monkeyto which is like monkey and keto m-o-n-k-e-y-t-o yeah. Um, it's a little there, carb where we well, there's a lot stuff. of there's a lot of keto uh, stuff going on. Yes. Ray says, but this weekend is Matt's birthday, so yeah. over there we tell you guys that every 30 days we cheat yeah. and uh, strategically cheat, and it's Matt's birthday. Uh, so this weekend is going to be. I usually go one day. This is going to be an all weekend blowout. So we're, so, gonna, we're gonna go all out. Hofbrow. This is life. You gotta do real life. Hofbrow. Right? That's probably going to be about a gallon of beer. Oh my um, gosh. Real life people, real life. Jaeger schnitzel, you know, comfort food. Funny. Comfort food. Uh, Ray, I would love to do uh, shrimp coconut curry, but uh, Sonia has a seafood allergy. That actually was one of my, listen, it's not that I don't love seafood, seafood don't love me anymore, right? But that was one of my favorite things. I would go to Red Lobster. And tell, right. I don't even know if they still do it or not, right? Mm. But uh, they used to do the coconut shrimp. And then they had the pina colada dip. Do, you get, do, you get, do they even still do that anymore? Somebody, let me live through you. Tell me how wonderful it is. Uh, Shabby Chic and Company in Australia, we will check out your email. Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we'll get to it. Us. Yeah, they sent us an email, so we got to go check out the email. Good. Lynn Chalk said, let me know when you can ship to Scotland, loving all your colors. I got it. Yeah. I just found out that um, I had a great-grandparent that, that was Scottish. So now you want to go visit Scotland? No, they got kicked out of Scotland. And for. They well, got, you don't want to tell them that. They, they got, you they got you kicked. You don't want no drama. Well, this, I find this ironic. They got kicked out of Scotland because they fought too much. And they, were too, they fought too much. Really? Yeah. I guess you're either a fighter or a lover. Is that yeah. what you say? Yeah, but Scots are known for, uh, there you go. for, for, uh, uh, well, for then scrapping it up. You made a good choice. <laughs> it was within you. Yeah. Right? So, anyways, I guys, thought that was funny. Guys, you love this. I hope this project is bringing you guys some joy and some inspiration because I want you to know that if you're like when I even when I opened my shop I, I you know from the very beginnings I hung chandeliers that did not work but I painted them and, and strung lights over them and made them very very beautiful and blingy Thanks. and uh, so you can create some beautiful props for spaces uh, without having to buy new right this is the real deal chandelier except it's been outside it's all weather but I still love it anyhow I'm on 27th uh, this was back in uh Wait, what, what, 16, 1670s? He, he got kicked out? Too <laughs> funny. And I'm still waiting for my DNA results. Yeah. Actually, um, they're actually being red right now, but they aren't going to be there. Are, am I 40 yet? Oh, I wish. <laughs> yes, that's, that's 29 and holding. Yes, yes. Okay, absolutely. I've been, it's uh, on the internet, it must be true. Yeah. That's my story. Oh, I'd love to see 40 again. <laughs>
Guys, even though these white plastic covers are broken, I don't care, right? Like, I want people, people are going to be able to tell from the road when they walk it up my shop. You look 25. Uh, that's this it. This is a... Um, Sorry, hon. I'm leaving for Teresa. I'm, all going, right, I'm going to. Teresa, you make it feel good every single day. Yeah. <laughs> All right, tell them that he looks She really said I look 25, yeah. Uh, listen, everybody needs friends like Teresa. Yeah, there you Teresa, go. You want to be my friend? <laughs> I would like to say good jeans, but, uh, you know. <laughs> it's all the pain. Yeah. It must be the junk monkey. Yes. Yeah, there you go. How can you not live a good life if you're a junk monkey lover? I always say, junk monkey people are fun people, right? We don't get stressed out. You know what I mean? We, we just have a sense of humor. We're, we're, we know this is real life people. You know what I'm saying? Yes, it's okay we're the second and admit that you wore a shirt two days in a row. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You may even have odd socks on right now. I'm, I'm wearing That's a shirt for a third day in a row, but I, I washed it last night, so. Well, <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> Maybe paint the cylinders black, they said. That would be cool, too. Yeah. Yes. That would be totally cool. I like it. Uh, so, anyway. I'm almost done with this piece, guys. Chevy chip brush, again, so what happens when you use a Chevy chip brush like this is that it hits the, um, it hits like the certain highs, not the lows. So because this piece was actually done in um, like a, a dirty brass kind of color, like the dirt that was on, I don't know, but you know what I'm saying, a dark brassy sort of color, then um, it basically, when I put the yellow onto it, you can see it coming through. So when you, to get this look, it's really easy. You just basically put a different color over your existing color and use a brush like this, right? So I love it, Matt. We're almost done. Do you want to get ready to holler out some names? I'm, I don't want to go to What are you doing back there? Counting. Why are you counting? Mm, just Matt's decided to do inventory right now, apparently. Okay. Okay. What? For those of you asking about leggings, there's 17 of the Australian slash New Zealand slash uh, Dominion flag jeggings uh, in the ballers yep. left. There's 13 uh, leopard print, and then there's 10 uh, of the full flowers. Yeah, so. yeah, we're getting low. So yeah, if you want, if you want them, get them. They're on special, $10 till so they sell out, yep. and then. If we get them back in, we won't be getting the same ones back in, but yeah. that won't be until next year if we do it. Yep. We like to switch things up. So. We do. We like to keep it fresh and spontaneous. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah, move on to new things. All right. Let's keep it exciting. Guys, I'm just going to get the bottom down here. But, oh, I love it so much. I love it so mm -hmm. much. Remember, um, you know, like using something like foil wrap or stretch and seal is also your friend when you're trying to paint things but you don't want to paint over a certain area. Mask it off and then paint the rest, right? So I could have took all these little bling blings off. I don't need to. This is just a decor piece done very simply, very quick, um, saved from the trash. And you know what? It brings me joy just doing this. So let me go ahead and paint the top up here. I think I got it all. I just grab, I'm the type of guy that just grabs the shirt and the pants and I go. I'm very much, uh, Oh, you got yellow in your hair. Oh, I do. See? How much would I have paid for a dye service like that? People just use junk. There you go. I'm joking. I'd All I got to do is just go into the sink and I'll wash right off. Yeah. It would be really funny. You just went, shh. That's okay. <laughs> go, shh. Paint the holes, right? Yeah, yeah, just go, boom. Go with it. Just going to go right after and get it off. So. All right, guys. What do you think? What do you think? Shabby. Delicious. Right here. Hello. This thing is heavy. Now I know why in the movies that if the chandelier drops in your head. How head. do you hide the <laughs> wires that you wrap, wrap it with? Here? Well, you cut them off. You can cut them off, yeah. or yeah, or you can just tie it off. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Cut or, them off and just or, leave the chain. That's all you have to do. Um, but for me, it's going to lay like this way in my window, and I'm going to wrap some lights around it. Basically, I'm going to make it look like it's just kind of lounging, just like that. And then I'm going to wrap all my little white lights around it, and I'm going to plug it in, and it's going to bling bling up, and it's going to reflect up all these little jewels. And it's going to be a jewel in my light. And so never be afraid of color. In fact, if you're decorating a shop, if you're doing decor, you want to have a statement piece. You know the, the time when you go into the house, somebody's house, and you're like, oh, I love that. And they, because they were bold, you know what, you can be bold too. And at the end of the day, if I, if I painted this yellow, which I did, and I decided I want to do black velvet, all I would do is let it dry and paint over it black velvet. It mm -hmm. is as easy as that. So I can change it out whenever I want. And no, I don't have to seal this. Um, you know, so our chalky style paint 
does not just fall off, right? It grabs a hold. You're not going to brush up against it. It's not going to fall off. You're not going to think about it like chalk dust, right? It's a paint that grabs. Wow, Teresa, I appreciate it. She says, I have a son 30. You look like younger than him. Really? Yeah. Oh, it's been good. Yeah. I, um, well, I, I was, uh, I was a gym, I was a gym nut for a lot of years, but you know, a lot of soft tissue. I haven't been gymming it up like I usually, yeah. Nora said, I saw Matt for the first time. Is it? Nora. I think so, there, yeah, so there you go. Oh, nice. Well, so. all right, guys, let's do some banana bucks. You guys get some inspiration today. We, Another way we did, we that did. you can do in your home. Um, and just jazz it up for a complete low cost, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I might have used, honestly, for something like this, I probably would have used maybe six teaspoons, six to eight, because I'm just dabbing it over it. It's really easy. Jan said, so, when I turned 50, the hubby threatened to trade me in for two 25-year-olds. He can't handle me. He can't handle me. All right, guys. So, winner, winner, chicken dinner, right? I love right. it. I love it so much. I am so happy for this. So, you know, even though somebody gave this away, and threw it away, um, I, I'm in love with this. I guess I should do these. Yeah, this is YouTube. The winner on YouTube today is... Yes. Rhonda Ingram, Rhonda, Rhonda Ingram, and the winner on Facebook is yes. Michelle Rothenhofer. Woo! All right, ladies, you know what you got to do, right? You got to email me. Do you want to tell them real quick? I'm letting you throw it out. Do you want to do it, Matt? Tell them what they got to do. Oh, you got to email us at chumpmonkeypaintgmail.com. Put winner, winner in subject line. Yep. Before midnight Eastern Standard Time, or you will miss out yes. on your banana bucks. So, so there you go. This is another, I just kind of pulled this from the uh, window. This was another one that I painted in white. And can you see, this is what I wanted to let you guys know. This is what I do. I don't care if these don't work anymore. I don't plug them back in. This was a shabby rose. It's a little bit faded since it's been in the sunlight. Where can we find your mom's while. stuff? But do you see how I twist it around? <laughs> and then this basically, I would plug this part into my, um, this part goes into a charger, goes into a wall. And then it just blings out and it's gorgeous. I got another pink one over there. So I just love, love, love me an old chandelier to make. Junkmonkeypaint right? at gmail.com. Junkmonkeypaint yeah, at gmail.com. Junk 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 Eastern Standard Time. Yep. Winner, winner in the subject line. And I will get back to you and send you back your yep. specialty secret code to use at junkmonkeypaint.com. Now I got to take Sonia after working all day filming movies. I got to take Sonia to Hobby Lobby now. So We're going to Hobby Lobby. We're going to Hobby Lobby. Yeah. Yay, me. Right. Oh, that's not plugged in. Those wires are cut there, kiddo. What's that? Up top here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Plug them back in. They came from yeah. the side of the road. Yeah. All right. So, if you were missing some bling bling, that's okay. Love it anyhow, right? It will do the job. It will be gorgeous in my window and it will be gorgeous when I wrap lights around it. Well, and, uh, you know, that's an yeah, idea. This summer, maybe we'll take some of you guys who are wherever we're at, take some of you guys with us on a junking X. Yes. Expedition. Make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel, guys. I'm going to, when I'm done with my live streams here, I'm going to go back to daily vlogging, which is basically a camera behind the scenes with me daily, all right? So if you enjoy hanging out and you're like, what does Sonya do when she's not going live? Then you get to see, all right? Just do jump oh, the white one. on Facebook. Are the lights working on the white one? They gotta be plugged in. That's all. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I just thought, I just. Oh yeah, that has the. I gotta yeah. go. The charger's over there. It's hidden. Maybe tomorrow I'll light these both up. Yeah. For you guys. I'll light so, them right? up. Yeah. Let's yep. do it tomorrow. All right. Okay. Perfect. All right. We're gonna let this finish drying, and then tomorrow should be ready to light up and way to go. I am not gonna seal it. No, the paint will not fall off of it. So all you need to know is: Do you have a chandelier that you can paint? Do you have a chandelier that you can find to paint? Do you need some cheap decor, or do you want to add some color to your existing decor? It's all you. Find out the colors at jumpmonkeypaint.com. Thank you guys for hanging out with us, and we promise to be back tomorrow. I'm going to Hobby Lobby. All right. All right. See you tomorrow. Hobby Lobby. Bye.